Hey there everybody, this is Eric from Outer Limitless. And it's Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions. We're here in Atlanta today to cover Blade 2019. Now there is a lot of material to cover between June 7th and June 9th. These three days have a lot coming, so stay tuned. You're gonna like it. Uh, my name is Peter Martin. I've been making knives for 31 years as of this year. Um, I've transferred into some uh, CNC work. My son runs the CNC mill. I still forge, so they still call me a hammerhead. Uh, but these are my knives, these are my tables, and that's my son's work over there. This one is called the Fleck, F-L-E-K. Uh, it's a titanium-sided flipper folder, runs on bearings, the blade steel is 12C27, all the screws are stainless, the clip is titanium, uh, it also has a flame treatment for color. The blades are hand ground, satin finished by hand. That spine, that polish on the spine is beautiful by the way. Oh, thank yeah, you. That's mirrored, yeah. Beautiful yeah. right there, look at that. Old school. Very nice. Very classy. The one next to it is black, same knife, same materials, but black Cerakote. And there are two rounded spine. I like the texture on that one, that was really nice. Yeah. Again, all that texturing is from my son with the CNC Magic. That's that flame uh, anodizing? Flame or flame coloring, yes. Yeah, and they work really, really nice. Yeah, it's very beautiful, nice. And, and that action is, is really good too. I mean, it's nice and smooth, it's on bearings. Yes, yeah. has ball bearings in it. Another pattern that we do. The material, again, flame coloration. I like how you have those sunken pivots. Uh, I, I kind of noted, noticed it here in the back. Kind of, it gets yeah. kind of sunken into the frame. Right. It's, it, it's, 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 really it's nice. to keep everything level, so yeah. there's nothing sticking up. And this last one is a CFK. Uh, that's a completely uh, CNC manufactured uh, knife, right in my shop. Blade texture is literally from the CNC. Again, titanium sides, titanium screws on this one. I'm a big fan of that sheep's foot. Uh, sheep's foot design. Yeah. Beautiful. It's got that texture right on the blade and yeah. a nice fuller. Yeah, it's that texturing on the blind right here. It's interesting because if you look quick, the, it almost looks serrated, but it's not. It's not. There's no serrations on it. It's beautiful That's knife. impressive. I like that. I basically live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or a suburb of Milwaukee. Website address is PeterMartinKnives.com. So, uh, we gotta ask, we checked out your knives, let's check out your knife. What's in your pocket? I have a CFK. This one is uh, paper micarta handle. Again, CNC uh, textured blade and black Cerakote. That is amazing. Thank you. I like the all black look. I'm all a big black. fan of the micarta too. It's and that nice little top top pop in that uh, Good to make pivot heavy. joint screw. Yeah. yeah. Big pivot joint, titanium yeah. liners. Titanium back bar, titanium clip. Nice. I like the. It's a subtle anodizing. Yeah. Well, it was brighter when I first made it, but yeah. of course yeah. it's. I like the patina. <laughs> I like. I like yeah. a knife that's used and loved. Well, this one's been used and loved, <laughs> but nice. the action is still very nice. So that's great to see. And, and one thing, the reason why we like to do this as well, especially for for you know people who design knives and they do their own designs, is. People understand what they look like when they see it on the table new, but typically the designers, they really put their knives to the test. So you like to see in time how the action improves, yes. you know, how the wear improves, how something looks like when it's loved. Well, used is not is, is, a, is a term for, for things that devalue. I think that a knife, when you buy it, it, it increases its value over time because it increases its use and you find your dependency to it, like kind of, it, it kind of becomes yours, yes. you know? So that's why we do that, that concept and I'm really glad to see that the uh, the action on that one is really nice, and I really like that that look on that on that particular folder. That's an exceptional looking knife. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Corey Martin, and I make knives, chainmail, and I do some knife photography. Um, this here is my offering of chainmail uh, keychains that I make. Um, I use a variety of materials from stainless to copper, bronze, um, titanium, aluminum, pretty much a whole mix of everything. Uh, these bracelets have a uh, rubber o-rings in them, so you just pull them right over your wrist. Kind of a one-size-fits-all thing. Just kind of structural work with cubes, kind of some weird stuff. Even down here with the, the giant pyramid. This is a, a several-year project. Been working on it for a while. Uh, there's 19,408 rings in it. I do them each one at a time, so it's taken a while. 
Uh, so this is one of my kind of specialty keychains. Um, these are, are square shaped stainless rings on the outside. The red ones going this way are anodized aluminum. Um, and these actually have a uh, glow in the dark material. Is it a tritium type? Oh, okay. No, no, it's a, a kieranite material. It's actually glow in the dark. So there's a small little piece in there. I just buy a big sheet of it, cut it into small pieces, um, throw it inside of there, and make it work. So. I'm sure Karen and I would be glad to hear about that. I, they've, they've got them. Yeah, they love them. Awesome. So, um, yeah, it goes pretty good. Nice. So this here is a, it's called a box chain. This is the, uh, the pattern of chain mail. The black rings are black stainless, and the other ones are actual copper. Um, so you just kind of weave them together, and they form that, that little shape there. These rings are, are actually titanium. The blue ones are aluminum. Super lightweight. Just kind of a nice little rookie chain. Um, you can find me on my website, CoreyMartinImaging.com. Um, I also have another one called CoreyMartinKnives.com. Um, and here's what I actually have in my pocket. It's one that I made a while back. It's a S35 blade, snake wood inlays, zirconium frame, titanium. Um, clip in and lock. It's been used quite a bit. It's been loved, yeah man. Yeah. Nice, it's pretty work. I like Thank you. Did that. you work on the edge too? Yeah. Nice. It's nice to see designers that not only work on the knives but really know how to take care of their edges yeah. too. That's, that's, that's a great looking knife.